Hello guys and boys and girls, in this video I will show you how to edit viral reels that DA edits in Premiere Pro. So by the way, I have got a free project file waiting for in the description, download for free. Now, if this video helps you out, smash the like button and if you enjoy the content like this, hit subscribe, you won't regret it, probably. Alright, without any further ado, let's get into the video. So first thing first, let's set up the sequence. Go to the new item, then sequence and make it 1080 into 1920. Press OK. Now let me add a color mat. Set the color black. Because we are keeping it classy. Now let's make it fancy with the ramp effect. Huh? Did you see that? Classy, fancy. Wow. Change ramp shape to radial ramp. Increase the value of start of ramp and end of ramp. Change end color to dark purple and start color to light purple. So now it's image time. Drop it to the timeline like you drop all your problems on Monday morning. Adjust the scale, position and don't forget to set those keyframes. Set keyframe for scale and decrease the scale size. Go a few frames forward and increase the scale size a little bit. Now set the first keyframe, right click and hit ease out. Do the same for the last one but hit ease in. Now it's the time for test, folks. Grab the type tool and add a test. Create a copy of this test by holding Alt key or Option key. Drag it on top. Next, you are getting fancy with the mask. Under test, select this rectangle mask tool and create a mask like this. Set keyframe for mask path. Go a few frames forward and adjust the mask path. Do the same for this bottom test. And make sure it all flows together smoothly. And finally, don't forget to nest those test layers. Yeah, so set keyframe for scale for this test and sequence. Go a few frames forward and decrease the scale size to bit. Time to bring in our character image. We are going to set keyframes for scale. Go a few frames forward and decrease the scale size a little bit. And don't sleep on opacity changes. Set keyframe for opacity. Go a few frames forward and decrease the opacity. Let me delete the armor portions. Now I'm going to add an eye image. Go to effects and add tint. Change map black to dark purple. Add the scale and rotation. Set keyframe for scale. Go a few frames over and decrease the scale size a little bit. Now I'm going to add a green screen video. Add an ultra key. Select this color picker and select this green color. Now let's speed it up by right click speed duration, increase speed amount to 520. Change time and replication to optical flow. Adjust rotation and scale size. So let me cut at the end of this green screen video. And use the type tool and go to add a number. Add the scale and rotation. Set 
Sell the search layer and green screen video. Nest it. Set keyframe for scale. Go a few points over and decrease the scale size. Also, I will set a keyframe for position. Go a few points over and adjust the position. Now let me nest these two layers. Add this position and set keyframe. Go a few frames over and change the position. Go again two or three frames forward and set keyframe again. At the end, change the position to the right. Let me add a YouTube logo in here. Double click on this in a sequence and copy the tint from this eye icon. Go back to the main sequence and paste it to this YouTube logo. I will set a keyframe for position and place it to the left. Go a few frames over and paste it to the right. Change the rotation to minus 22. Decrease scale size to 60. Now I'm going to add a green screen video. Add ultra key and use this color picker to change the color. Adjust the position and scale size. Set keyframe for position and place it to the left. Go a few frames over and place it to the right. At the end keyframe, change to ease in. Beginning keyframe, change to ease out. Let me cut the end of this in a sequence. Right click, add frame hold. Extend it. Nest this YouTube and number count on layers. Now go to new item, adjustment layer. Place it on top. Alright, now go to effects panel and add gaussian blur. Now we are going to select the circle mask. Adjust it until it looks just kind of right, like when you are trying to find the perfect angle for a selfie. <laughs> Once you have got it, check inverter. Increase the blur to 15 and feather to 50. Now we are going to nest not one, not two, but three layers together. Nest, grab the rectangle shape tool and draw out a shape like this. Uncheck fill, uncheck stroke. Boost the stroke amount to 10. Time to add some tests using the type tool. Adjust just scale and position. Now I'm going to create two copies of this rectangle shape tool and test layer. Change the test to step 2 and step 3. Let me nest each test layer and rectangle shape layer. Go to effects and add basic 3D to the step 1 in a sequence. Change tilt to minus 15 degree. Copy this tilt and paste it to the other two in a sequence. Add this position and scale of these three nest layers. 
select the step 1 as sequence and set keyframe for position and scale. Go keyframes forward and increase the scale size and position on top. So the door keyframes and give them a smooth continuous base here. Set the step 2 in a sequence and do the same steps. Set keyframe for position and scale and go few frames over and push on top. Increase scale size. So the door keyframes continuous base here. Place these keyframes in here. Do the same steps for the step 3 nest layer. But for this nest layer, place this position in here and increase the scale size a little bit. Select so all keyframes, continuous base here. Go one or two frames forward and set keyframe for position again. Go few frames forward and position down. Set keyframe for rotation in here. Go few frames forward and change the rotation degree to minus 65. I will also set a keyframe for opacity. Go few frames over and change opacity to zero. Select all nest layers and nest it. Now we are going to add a transition from Mr. Host Premier Composer. Shout out to them for the free starter pack. Link in the description. Go to window, extension, premium composer. Under startup pack, transitions, pan, select this top transition. Now, let's get back to our test game. Create some test layers, position them, and adjust the scale. After that done, we are going to add a mobile image and a screenshot. Place the screenshot below the mobile layer. Select the screenshot image, adjust scale width and height. Now select the rectangle mask tool and create a shape around this drop shadow. Check inverted. For the screenshot image, I am going to create a mask here on this top right corner and check inverter. Let me, let me go back to the test layer and mask this test layer. Set keyframe for mask path. Go keyframe over and adjust the mask path like this. Let me nest these two layers. Set keyframe for position and place it on top. Go keyframe over and place it down. Select both keyframes, continuous base here. Go to effects and add drop shadow to this in a cellar. Increase the softness amount. Grab the pen tool and draw a fungi shape like this. Make sure the stroke is nice and crisp. At this position and rotation, set keyframe for mass path. Adjust the mass path like this. Go a few press over, adjust the mass path like you see in this video. Using type tool, I'm going to add a test in here. 
Now I'm going to create another shape layer in here. And mask it. Set keyframe for mask path. Go keyframe over as is a mask path like this. Create another shape layer and just do the same steps that we done before. Here we next all the layers. Now I'm going to create an Instagram notification. Set this rectangle shape layer and create a shape like this. Under shape, change fill color. Change solid to radial gradient. Change both color to dark ash and light ash. Decrease opacity to 94. Now I'm going to add an Instagram icon. Decrease opacity. Place it over here. Add some test. Let me change the shape size. Go to window and select essential graphics. Increase the roundness and more. Select all the layers and nest it. Place it over here. Push it on top. Set keyframe for scale and decrease the scale size. Go keyframe over and increase the scale size. Create two copies and adjust it like this. Delete the unwanted portions. Now let's wrap it all up with some final touches. We are adding light overlays to give it that cinematic flyer. Change blend mode to overlay. Let me add a light leak video overlay on top. Change blend mode to screen. Under opacity, select this rectangle mask tool and create a mask like this. Increase mask feather. Place this light leak above this background layer. Now if you want, you can set keyframe for opacity for this light leak. Copy these two keyframes and go few frames over and paste it. Like you see in this video. Finally, if you want to add a glow to the test layer, set the test layer. and add drop shadow. Change shadow color to white. Increase softness and decrease opacity. Copy this drop shadow and paste it to all the other test layers. Yeah, and that's the reason, boys and girls. And if you want to know how to edit these cool motion graphics like Jack ROSY Cider in Premiere Pro, check out these two videos right here. If you find this video useful, give a like. Subscribe to my channel if you like these kind of tutorial videos. And I will see you on my next video.